asking for it. You one more step. You're gonna get it! Fingers crossed. You are going to be very sorry. Don't do that. Not as sorry as you. Uh, Joy's home. Come on. Come on, honey. Jerry's home. Yay. Excuse me, lady. Is this the Blake residence? Yes, it is. I've got a surprise for her. What? Something no family should be without. What is it? Stephanie, somebody I want you to meet. <laughs> I can't tell you what his name is because he doesn't have one yet. Well, names don't seem to matter much. I had a dog when I was a kid. He was just a mutt, but to me, he was Rin Tin Tin. Rin Tin Tin? No, oh, that was a little before your time, I guess. So what do you think? Can we give this little guy a home? Sure. That's my girl. I'm going to go inside and call Karen. Tell her about my puppy. Honey, what do you say? Thanks, Jerry. I gotta fix that screen door one of these days. I hope she doesn't think I was trying to buy her love. You know, maybe the puppy was a mistake. The puppy was perfect. You're perfect. Give <laughs> it some time. It'll be fine. I know. All it takes is time. Time is one thing I've got plenty of. I feel like I'm watching a tennis match. Stephanie, why don't you ease in for a landing? I'll stop pacing if you stop doodling. All right. You pace, I'll doodle, and we'll both be happy. We were talking about your father. My father died a year ago. I'm sorry. I meant your stepfather. My father hadn't died. There wouldn't be a stepfather. You're mad at him for dying. I'm mad at somebody. Being unable to accept your father's death it's part of the reason you've been getting into trouble. I'm not in that much trouble. Suspended three times last year, twice this year. School's barely been in session two months. I know what my problem is. Him. If he wasn't here, my mom and I would be all right. Steph. You're going to have to face the fact that your mother loves the guy. She doesn't see. Doesn't see what, Stephanie? I think my time is up. Isn't it? So how was your session? OK. Listen, sweetheart, it seems like you and I are butting heads all the time. How about we try to get along a little better? Sure. One more thing and then I'll shut up. It's very important to your mother, and to me, that you try to get along better in school this year. What do you say? time you cause an outburst in my classroom. Hey, Mr. Conroy, Stephanie didn't start it. When I want your opinion, Baker, I'll ask for it. 
Come on, young lady. You couldn't get yourself into deeper trouble if you tried. <laughs> Suspended again? Expelled. No! What are you gonna do? Maybe boarding school. Really? I'm sure gonna try for it. Well, what's your stepfather gonna do when he finds out? He's gonna kill me. Expelled? You're kidding. Principal said it wasn't working out. I'm sorry, Mom. Girls don't get expelled. All right. It's over. The damage is done. Now. What are we going to do about the future? I want to go to boarding school. You want to leave home? It's not a family without children. I think it'd be best for everybody. Best for everybody? Running away would be best for everybody? It's not running away. Well, Jerry, what do you think? <sighs> I don't think we have to break up the family, do we, Pumpkin? Father knows best. Karen, it's freaky. The way he looked at me, like he wanted to erase me off the face of the earth. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, don't believe me. Okay, well, so what's the verdict? Is scary Jerry gonna let you go to boarding school? I don't know. He's this whole fantasy thing, like we should be like the families on TV and grin and laugh and be having fewer cavities all the time. I swear to God, it's like having more cleaver for a dad. I gotta hang. The firing squad has arrived. Bye. Come in. So where's my blindfold? What blindfold? I thought the condemned prisoner always got a blindfold. You don't really want to leave home, do you, honey? Yes, I do. It isn't our house anymore. It's his. Well, of course it's our house. It's always been our house. I loved your father. And when he died, I thought, well, maybe that's it. Maybe you only get one chance to be happy. I never thought I'd love anybody that much again. I know, Mom. I miss him so bad. I know you do, honey. We have a second chance with Jerry. He's a wonderful man. And he wants to care for us. Can't you just... give him a chance? I'm trying. I'm really trying hard. There's just something about him. Well, what is it? I don't know. I just... I hope we're not still upset over this uh, school business. We were just talking about that. Ah. Everything will look clearer in the morning, huh? We'll work it out. Good night, sweetie. Sweet dreams, Taff. Night, Jerry.
here, I'll take him. <laughs> everybody, everybody, come on down. Jerry's going to make a speech. I guess you all know why I asked you here. It's uh, because when I first started with American Eagle Realty a year ago, you were the first five families I sold houses to. Yeah, Jerry, I've been meaning to ask you about my garage door. Yeah, it would still work, Joe, if you hadn't backed your car into it. Oh. <laughs> we met doing business, and we stayed to become friends. And although I may be arguing against the commission here, don't sell those houses of yours, because I like being your neighbor. Yeah, we like hey, wait, I want to get a picture with, with my family. Steph, Susan, come here. Come on down. Come here. Yeah, yeah come, come on here. Down. Yeah, come on for a picture. Yeah, come on. Come on, Steph. I don't know. There we are. Okay, shoot away. Uh, this is as good as it gets. <laughs> I hope you don't think what I'm going to say is pretentious. I, I sell houses. That's my job. But sometimes I think it's more than that. Sometimes I truly believe that what I sell is the American dream. You're here. You can call me sentimental. I don't care. When I came here, I was a stranger. But I've never felt more at home anywhere in my life. I have beautiful friends. I have a wonderful new family. Uh, have a good time. Thank you. Thank you. Will you look at this? I swear they'll print anything to make a buck. Just simple sensation. That's all. It's weird, that's all. What's that, Herb? Oh, that guy in Bellevue that killed his whole family. Cut him up with knives. I don't think I know about that. Oh, happened last year. That's what I was talking about. Now, this, this thing's a year old, and then they go raking it up again. Mm. This is terrible. Jerry. Jerry. You all right? <sighs> this kind of thing really gets to me, you know? That a man could be driven to do something like that to his own family, to his children. Uh, I don't even want to know about it. Makes you wonder, though. What's it take to make a guy turn his family into games breakers? Maybe they disappointed him. Hey, I thought this was supposed to be a party. Hmm? Hey, Tommy! Tommy, come here. Now you're Blackbeard the pirate. Thanks, Mr. Blake. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Myself and let off some steam, you know. Mm-hmm. You know how it is. Sure. I gotta get back or Mom's gonna wonder where I'm at.
don't happen. It happened to them. Let me see if I follow your thinking. A man murdered his family. You hate Jerry. Therefore, Jerry is the man who murdered his family. Yeah, that all adds up. Karen, maybe Jerry isn't the guy. But you don't know him like I do. You didn't see him down in the basement. And I did some checking. Guess when Jerry showed up in town and met my mom? Right after this. So what are you going to do, Nancy Drew? I'm writing this letter to the Seattle Examiner, and I asked him to send me a picture of Henry Morrison. I told him I was doing a social studies project on mass murders. Off the deep end. Come here, Ray. My mom says that you only charge half of your regular fee to see me. Uh-huh. How come you do that? My three o'clock patient is a schizophrenic, so I charge him double. It all works out. <laughs> Besides, I like seeing you. You were going to tell me your idea. I want to go to boarding school. Don't say it's running away. What's the matter with running away? It's just a... What? Sometimes running away is the best thing to do. It gives everybody some breathing room, right? Right. What do your folks say? I think I could talk my mom into it. And what about him? Oh, he has this crazy thing about breaking up the family. I swear, if you saw this man, you would say, commit him. Well, you probably are driving him crazy to a certain extent. Why don't I have a talk with him? If you could be on my side. I am on your side. I'll give your father... Sorry. I'll give him a call. Awfully early. Hi, honey. I ran out of appointments. Anything for me? As a matter of fact, something did come for you. Can I have it? I don't know. What do you mean? I don't know if it's the kind of thing you should be looking at. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here you go.
Dr. Bondren. Jerry? Dr. Bondren's on the phone for you. What does he want? Wants you to come in for a talk. Tell him I'm not here. Why don't you just come up and talk to him? Tell him I'm not here. And if he calls back, tell him I'm still not here. Um, Jerry can't come to the phone right now. I see. Could I have him call you back? Uh, that would be fine. Thank you. How do you do? Please sit down. Thank you. I've come to talk about the situation with Stephanie. I'm afraid, Mr. Blake, it's a lost cause. Well, I'm sort of a believer in lost causes. Okay. I guess I have to face it. Jerry Blake is the most wonderful man in the world. He got you back into school, didn't he? <laughs> you know why, don't you, to get out of seeing you? Did it ever occur to you that maybe it isn't the rest of the world that's wrong? I told you how phony he is and how he acts out in the basement making faces at himself. Oh, come on. We all do that. Why did he freak out and absolutely refuse to come and see you? Because he's afraid of my eagle eye. It's more than that. He scares me, Dr. Bondering. I'm afraid of him. Jerry Blake here. Well, which house was that? Yes, sir, I'd be happy to show you that house, Mr. Martin. What about 4.30 tomorrow? Fine. I'll see you then. Steph, are you going to be coming back to art class? No. They put me in typing instead. Jeez, what a waste. You know, you got a lot of artistic talent. Get out of here. No, no, really, I mean it. You could have a great future as a big shirt designer. <laughs> I really like the one you made for Mr. Conroy. The bit with the green hand print was great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I bought my own paints, would you make a shirt like that for me, too? No. Put mine to your face. All right. Come on, right now. Come on, give it to me. All give right. me a better shot. Come on. Oh. She takes a jab and hot. Ah! Baker steps in for a devastating shot in the jaw. Oh. Uh, Maine pounds away at his midsection. Gotcha. Baker gets up and sees. Ah! 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 Um, I guess I'll see you tomorrow in school, huh? Sure. Great. Okay, bye. Bye. Jerry Blake. It's a great looking house. Yeah, wait till you see the inside. Come on, I'll show you around. Come on in, Jerry. Come here in the hall. Get lost in 
closets in here. That's great. Kitchen back here? Kitchen back there, yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you about these. I love these hardwood floors. Look at the inlay. I think it's. I think this is terrific. Nice, very nice. Come on back. Take it right here. I'll show you the downstairs bedroom. A lot of space here. A lot of room for kids. You a family man? Really? Confirmed bachelor. How about you, Jerry? Happily married. I wouldn't trade for the world. I don't know. I guess it works for some guys. What's that? Oh, you know the family, home sweet home, all that crap. Stress management. Sounds complicated. <laughs> the kitchen has been all remodeled. Built-ins, I like this. I try to find ways for employers and employees to get along with less friction. I ask questions, they give me answers. For instance, how do you sleep at night? Uh, how do you sleep at night, Jerry? I sleep like a baby. See, that's interesting. Because I think there'd be a lot of stress in your line of work. I suppose there's a certain degree of stress in every job, Ray. It just uh, depends on how you handle it. Which way am I facing? North. Run in here, Ray. A great big room for kids to tumble around in. You know, a house like this should really have a family in it. You mean you won't sell it to me because I don't have one? Oh, no. I didn't say that. This is all being remodeled here. You really are a cheerleader for the old traditional values, aren't you, Jerry? Oh, tradition is important. Sounds like you had a strict upbringing. You might say that. Let me ask you a question, Ray. Sure. Are you interested in buying a house or in me? Sorry. Force of habit. My wife gets on me for that all the time. I thought you said you were a bachelor. Uh, recently divorced. I see. Sometimes I forget I'm not married anymore. Probably just the stress. Who are you? How'd you get on to me? I don't think this house is right for you. I think you'd be more comfortable somewhere else. This house is for a family. You know what I mean? A family? Home sweet home? All that crap! <laughs> You're disappointed you didn't turn out to be Jack the Ripper. I was wrong, Karen. I was totally wrong. Doctor!
up for safety. I'm sorry, honey, I have some bad news about Dr. Bondrant. His office just called. What? I shouldn't go to my hour tomorrow? No, no, it's more serious than that. There was an accident sometime last night out by the highway. He lost control or something. His car went off the road. His car? He's dead, Steph. Sorry. What happened? Nobody knows. Police say he lost control of his car. It's one of those stupid, unnecessary accidents. He was my friend. I know, baby. He was a very special man. In his own way, he helped to bring us together. Nothing is ever going to split us apart. Can I help? Yeah, would you, honey? Thanks. What do you think? I like it. Is it straight? A uh, little bit towards me. Oh, both perfect. Jerry? Yeah? Um, I just want to say that I know I've been in a lot of trouble, and I'm sorry. Well, let's say we owe each other an apology and bury the hatchet, okay? Deal. When I was a kid, I went through some pretty rough times myself. So what happened? I outgrew my problems, and so will you. Besides, you'd be too busy juggling boyfriends. Boyfriends? <laughs> yeah, you know, boys, girls, dating. <laughs> He's so old-fashioned, aren't you? Guilty as charged, dear honor. There's plenty of time for that, sweetheart. Don't try to grow up too fast, huh? Okay. Be nice, and there's a family of birds living in there. Thank you for the meal we're about to enjoy. For our dear friends, our wonderful home, but most of all, Father, 
we thank you for bringing us together as a family. Amen. 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 Sweetheart, everything looks absolutely perfect. What do you think of this turkey, Steph, huh? Looks almost good enough to eat. Yeah. What do you say we carve up this bird? Steph, light or dark? Um... Wait, 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 let me guess. You're the, uh, drumstick type. Two drumstick type. Oh. You know, until this moment... I never realized what Thanksgiving was all about. safe. I meant you. Me? You're the one who's dangerous, you and that mean right hook. Come on, chicken. <laughs> Only if I get to drive. So how come you're not with the ever popular Kathy Lombardo tonight? <laughs> Kathy Lombardo's a stuck-up bitch. She dumped you. No, no, I dumped her. All right, all right, you dumped me. Come on, watch where you're going. <laughs> Easy. Um, we're okay now. You can stop holding on so tight. Do I have to? Not if you don't want to. <laughs> Stock. Yeah. Anyway, uh, bye. Bye. You! You could go to jail. This girl is 16 years old. So am I. Jerry? What's wrong? This punk was trying to rape our daughter. Well, I just kissed her goodnight. Stephanie, what's going on? Go home, Paul. Steph, are you sure? Go home and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Go! Will somebody please tell me what this is all about? He kissed me goodnight. I wanted him to. I like Paul, Mom. Well, of course you do, honey. Jerry, I really She's don't not think ready for this. She's still a child. I'm not a child. Just because you're all crazy and demented and hung up about sex. Stephanie, don't you talk to your father that way. He's not my father. He's just some crazy creep. How can you even bear to let him kiss you? Stop it! He's your father now, and you'll respect him. <sighs> Stephanie! Stephanie, come back! Let her go, Susan. She'll come back what when she calms down. What are you thinking of? Making such a big, stupid that boy scene. Was practically undressing that her right boy, here on our Paul front porch. Baker, I've known him longer than I've known you. Meaning what? Meaning all the progress we made with Stephanie is just thrown away, just thrown away by you.
honey. Honey. They say this new doctor's one of the best. Have a good session, huh? Miss Main? Miss Stephanie Main? Sorry. Wrong office. supposed to be empty. I'm, I'm sorry about that. I'm taking care of it. By yourself? Mm-hmm.
that, honey. Where have you been? Showing the Morton house to some folks from California. Don't lie to me, Jerry. What? I called your office today. I didn't get a message. Of course you didn't get a message. They said you stopped working there several days ago. What? The receptionist said that you left. That idiot! That new girl can't... Be... Susan, I never got anyone fired in my life, but that girl, I don't know. You mean you still work there? Of course. Where else would I be? I don't know. I just... I don't know what I thought. I'm sorry. This is very upsetting. Old man Grace is still there. No, forget it, honey. Forget it. She probably just got the name wrong or something. Hodgkins, what's to get wrong? What did you say? Huh? Wait a minute. Who am I here? Jerry. Jerry. Jerry Blake. Thank you, honey. You all right, sweetheart? It's okay, sweetheart. I won't hurt you. Steph, come out here now! Get out here! <laughs> Steph. Come on, honey. 
Where are you, Steph? Come on, honey, it's all right. It's all a game, Steph, huh? Ollie, Ollie, home free. Come on, Steph, it was all a misunderstanding! No! Come Come to Daddy, come on, come here! No, please! Stephanie? Stephanie? Moppy? Ah! Yes. <laughs> 